Hey, good afternoon guys. Tonight I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm actually going to be doing uh, my trade, my craft. Not building surfboards, not surfing, uh, not whitewater rafting, not snowboarding, none of that. Um, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to do some electrical work. Uh, I've got some lights out in my building currently. I do maintenance electrical work. Um, I am a master electrician. I have been since 1995. Um, I've had my own business. I've worked for numerous companies. I've done all types of construction um, and now I'm doing maintenance work. So I'm going to go change these ballasts and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to do them hot, 277 volts. Um, you got to be very careful. Uh, where I work now they require me to use the proper protective gear which I will do. Um, I'm going to safe everything off and then take my gloves off and, and show you guys how to do this. So the main thing is safety. So I'm going to go collect my stuff, my safety gear, my gloves, my glasses, the ballast, and some lamps, and we will change this ballast. All right? Okay, so for this video, these lights are 277. They are not in the best of spots. But they are out and in need of a ballast change. I'm just gonna, gonna double check, make sure it is the ballast. Easiest way to do that for me is to grab a lamp. And if it's a lamp, I look out. here now probably two ballasts anytime I come across a light that just has like these two out or these two out I always change both ballasts while I'm here just to be sure now where I work we have these safety regulations so I'm going to take this cover off and go put on my gloves as required by my employer so I don't get fired. My little rubber gloves. You know, you really have to be careful doing that because I have stuck the end of that into the socket before. So I'm kind of looking out here. These already have quick connects on them. Which is a good thing. So I'm just going to disconnect these and go. So both my circuits are separated. That's pretty slick. I'll reuse this one and I'll reuse this one
Alright, have fun. Alright, man. And uh, wet your fingers before you check the circuit. That's right. Always do. It's part of my safety program. So basically, I forgot to show you guys. I'll show you on the next one. All these ballasts have a wiring diagram. On these, blue is the hot, red is the common, yellow is the common on the lamp side. And it's basically red and white's the hot on the black side. Now what I do is I try to make my stuff as neat as possible. So I like to trim everything up. And Make it nice and neat. not always going to be exactly color to color but if you look at the diagram it'll tell you pretty much what you got to do actually it'll tell you exactly what you got to do you have to figure out the rest all right so i always try to make mine nice and neat and i do these i do these one ballast at a time for the express purpose of not getting them mixed up um, I don't want to get anything crossed. So that's one completely hooked up except for the power. I'm going to do the other one and then come back and do the power side. All right guys, so I've got the other one installed. I try to do all my stuff as neat as possible. Um, yeah, so that's what it is. So you'll notice that they are sharing a neutral on one of these instead of jumping it out. So when I disconnected them, the red and the white were hooked to the second ballast because that's controlled by one switch. The black was hooked to this ballast. They share a neutral. So uh, we're gonna put that back, put our rubber gloves on again, reconnect them and uh, hook everything back up. Put some lamps in it and get it working. I don't remember why. Oh, I know why. Because I just cut them. Okay. I really, I only need one wire coming out of that connector. But since they're both there, I'm going to use them. Because I'm reusing the connectors. I mean, I could probably go through the trouble of getting them out, but... You know, 
What's the point of that? Make sure those are tight. Make sure that's tight. You see, I don't twist those together with pliers. The so theory I've always been told is let the wire nut make the joint. I've been told that. I've been doing this for 30 years and that's what I've always been told. And that's how I do it unless I'm, you know, actually doing like new wiring or something. Once again, try to keep as many wires out of this as I can. Right? Alright, now, just for safety's sakes and for my employer's well, his rules, I will put my gloves back on because I don't want to be a rule breaker. I'll reconnect these and uh, plus that there's still people working here so I don't want anybody to say oh he he didn't do that all right so you can see how they line up just plug them in should have juice plug it in should have juice be careful putting your cover back in I have done that in the past and it's not a pleasant experience. All right. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Now this case of bulbs was broken, so I don't know how many in this case work. I mean the case was smashed and I salvaged a few. Oh, see we got something else going on here. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they just put these columns in. So my guess is that they disconnected these lights and they never reconnected them. And if that's the case, that's gonna fall on them. So this plot twists a little bit. The plot thickens. <laughs> we got juice, man. So, this is a little embarrassing. Because we do have juice. I could go check that light, I guess. Or check it to neutral. See if I got my full 277. So this plot's twisted a little bit. The ceiling's a mess. They just did the roof. And they put this column in right here. And when they did that, they took that light out, that light out. They put another column in down there and one in over there. And they took out a bunch of lights. So 
that's the end of the line. So it's somewhere between here and there, and it's probably that whip. Let me see what I got. <coughs> okay, so I'm back at this light. I'm testing this to ground. I have 280 volts on one side, and this is my problem child right here. Right here I have 37. So I have either lost a neutral I have lost a neutral somewhere and I would say it's in that other connector so let's move over there and uh, see what happens all right so my theory is we just have a bad connection here where they took this light out to put this column in and they didn't get this connector in good so we're going to check this thing oh there's a problem right there it's not plugged in all the way so let's do the right thing put our PPE on and hope nothing happens I do not like these quick connects. They're nice in some aspects, but they suck in others. And that brought on the other light I had to fix tonight, so that doesn't have to be fixed. So there you go. We should be able to go back here and uh, put this lamp back together and it should work. All right, sorry guys, I forgot to turn the camera back on, but I plugged those up. I got a little buzzing sound when I did it from the ballast, which I did not hear before, which tells me we probably got juice now. That light's working. So that tells me we definitely got juice. And there you go. may not have needed to change those ballasts but I didn't check power before because I just assumed that these lights were working and they went out because I changed a bunch of these every day so you change some ballast on a 277 volt light the last thing I always do is putting used bulbs back into a into a box that has good bulbs in it I always break one of the tabs off and there you go that's how you do it